You have been living in Lodibar. You didn't even know it. When God showed up in the form of an angel, in the book of Judges, chapter, I believe it's chapter 7. There's that number 7. There's a man hiding. His name is Gideon. He's hiding out behind the wine press, trying to glean and process some of the, the, the harvest that he's gleaned to keep it away from the enemy he's hiding. And the angel shows up, and the angel says, Hail, thou mighty man of valor, the man who is hiding from the enemy, mighty man of valor. And he says, you must have me confused with somebody else. <laughs> because I am from the least tribe and the least family in that tribe. And I'm the least one in the family. That's three strikes. And he said, you must have me confused. I'm not a mighty man of valor. And the angel says, come now therefore. God is going to use you to deliver your people. He sure didn't feel like it. He sure didn't act like it. He sure didn't know it. But I want you to see something. God did not call this man what he was. He called him what he was supposed to be. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What was he doing? He was trying to get him to see himself as God saw him. He's trying to get him to see himself in the light that differentiated than what the enemy wanted him to see. We've been lied to. We've been stolen from. We've been cheated, we've been threatened, we've been intimidated. I said, oh, I don't see all that. Well, it doesn't matter if you see it or not. The truth That's will right. not change whether you see it That's or don't. Right. It is what it is. Jesus asked the demoniac, even the demoniac that lived in the tomb, screaming and crying and cutting himself with rock. Jesus asked him what his name was. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he wanted the man to have an identity. And the man's identity had been stolen by all the devils that had crowded into him. And they spoke and they said, My name is Legion, for we are many. Jesus got through with that man. The Bible says he was sitting at the feet of Jesus clothed and in his right man, mind and wanted to go with Jesus. He had his name back. He had his life back. That man had a mother and a daddy. That man had a family. All of that was stolen from him. All of that was given back to him. He wasn't the same man. Because Jesus asked him what his name was. God went through great lengths to tell Adam who he was. Your name is Adam, red man. Adam. And then he taught the man to respect the identity of the other part of him, Eve. He brought her to the awakening Adam, and he says, what will you call her? Her name is Eve. In the Hebrew, his name was Ish, and her name was Isha. But in the English, it's Adam and Eve. But God didn't just want Adam to know who his identity was. He wanted him to 
give an identity to his wife. And on top of that, he had him to give an identity to every animal that God had created. Brought them all to him and have him to identify them. Identity! God didn't call us to be a number. We are to use numbers to do things with, but we are not one of those numbers. You have an identity. We've got to step up in this new open door because we're not going to be able to handle all the blessing. God said, I'm able to pour out a blessing from the windows of heaven that you won't have room enough to receive. Hallelujah. I has not seen, there is not heard, neither is it in the heart of man the things that God has prepared for him. Get ready. That's right. know that God is at work in this generation? God's about names, identities. He created a, a creature named Lucifer. His name, Lucifer, was given him by God. And Lucifer means light bearer. But this creature made a decision that he did not have permission to make. And guess what? His light went out. He is no longer Lucifer. He is now Satan. That old snake, that old dragon, that old deceiver, that old accuser of the brethren, he is no longer Lucifer. He has lost his identity because of his Ignorant stupidity. He was in heaven already and blew it. At least you blew it on earth. <laughs> God changed Abram's name. He changed Sarai's name. He changed Saul's name. He changed Simon's name. Why did God change their name? Identity. Self-identity. He wanted them to see themselves as who he was telling them they were. Mm -hmm. The reason Satan came against Adam was because he was jealous of mankind. He still is. He hates us because we are who he wanted to be. You are now the light. You're the light of the world. That's what Jesus said. God made all of creation good. He made it and he stood back and looked at it and said, It is good. Six times. It is good. It is good. It is good. It, talk about the goodness of God. Good. It is good. It is good. God said to Moses, get in the cleft of the rock and I'll show you my goodness. I'll make my goodness pass before you. And guess what? Out of that, Moses wrote the book of Genesis. And God created and stood back and said, it is good. That's the goodness of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He said everything was good that he made, but then he made a man. He stood back and said, it is very good. Read your Bible. It is very good. Why? Because everything else God made, he made it with his word. He made it with the power of, of the light. He made a man. He put a part of himself in that man. Yes. He breathed a part of himself into that man. He didn't do that in the other stuff. He did it into the man. Man was not designed to be just another Joe. He was not 
designed to be just another Tom, Dick, or Harry. He was not designed to be just a number. He was designed in the image and likeness of his father. God respected who he had made. Hallelujah. And the devil has stolen it. And we got people living in the streets. And God's had enough. God's had enough. Satan got Adam to sin. Why? Because he didn't want him to see himself as God had told him who he was. He wanted to see himself without the glory and the honor. He wanted to see himself in a different light. He wanted to see his own image differently. He, If he could convince Adam that he was not who God said he was, then he'd have him. Listen, you are not who the devil says you are. You are not who the world says you are. They can label you. They can number you. But you are not of them. You are of Him. And it is His image that He has put upon you. Satan has run roughshod too long. Enough. Payback. Ephesians 2.10 says, not talking about elephants and zebras, not talking about giants, not talking about this group or that group, or cats and dogs. talking about mankind. For we are his workmanship. Yes, we are. The word workmanship there is translated masterpiece. For we, not a dead dog, a masterpiece of God, created not in Adam, but in the last Adam, Christ Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords. And he hath made unto us Revelation 12, kings and priests in the earth. This earth does not belong to wickedness. It does not belong to evil. It does not belong to darkness. Darkness has been in charge too long. It belongs to the children of light. We are his masterpiece. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. <laughs> 5, the number of grace. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We are a part of God's new creation. God started over in Christ. The devil has no right to you. He has no right to this earth. He has no right to the things that God has prepared for you and me. He has no right. It is time for him to be arrested and tried and found guilty and judged and punished. You be my guinea pig. Okay. I'm going to show you something. God has shown me 
that the kingdom of God operates by laws. And the king, in the kingdom of God are, are keys and principles that are a part of God's order for the earth. In this box here, I have, come back here. In this box here, I have a prime key of the kingdom. I want you to take a peek at it, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't say it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. What <laughs> Sherry just saw... Mm -hmm. Is this mm. herself? Hallelujah. Herself. All right. Hallelujah. Now that could have been you. Hallelujah. You didn't love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is you. It's Glory. all of us. Glory to God. What we have to understand is you don't just have the keys of the key. You are the keys. That's right. Mm -hmm. You are the hope. Of glory yeah. because Christ is in you. Yeah. We are not the off scourings. We are not the downtrodden. Yeah. We are not the weary and the poorly shod. Yeah. We are sons and daughters of Almighty God. Yeah. And the devil is a liar. Baby's going to grow up knowing stuff that we wish we'd have known. That's right. Yes. That's so true. That's right. Thank you. Don't make a difference. I'm telling you something. God is at work. We got to step up our game. You don't get a professional sports team to come in and play a high school team. They're not ready. They got to step up. They got to grow. They got to learn. They got to work out. They got to get there. And I want to tell you what God's got planned. The mealy mouth, mule and puking baby Christians are not ready for. It's time to get rid of the fig leaves and see us for who we are. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. First thing they tried to do after they sinned was cover up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My Bible tells me in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of God are changed into the same image from glory to glory to glory to glory to faith to faith to faith. You got to start seeing yourself for who God has made you to be. The devil's not afraid of you like you are, but he's about to be. Because you're about to know something. You haven't known. Yeah. Yeah. Not in here. Yeah. You knew it here. Yeah. You didn't know it here. Oh. You are in his image. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You don't have to work at it. You don't have to try. But you got to come into alignment. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. He is called the accuser of the brethren. There's a reason for that. Because... He keeps accusing you and telling you you're this and you're that and, mm -hmm. and, and you're not this and you're that, not that and all that. Then he can, if he can make you believe it, then he's got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Enough of his lies. Amen. That's right. Five satanic accusations. First of all, he'll accuse you to God. He did, mm -hmm. he did Job. Mm -hmm. He went to God and said, Job don't, Job don't love you. Job's only serving you for what he can get out of. Right. Then he went to God 
and blame Job. So he'll accuse you to God and then he'll accuse God to you. He'll yeah. tell you it's God's fault you're like the Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, God made me this away. <laughs> Mule muffins. <laughs> then he'll accuse you to others. And he'll accuse others to you. Yeah. That's four accusations right there. But the worst one of all is he'll accuse you to yourself. That's what was going on with Mephibosheth. That's what was going on with Gideon. That's what's going on with the millions and millions of people around the world today. He's lied to them and tried to make them think they're not important. And they don't count. But the precious gift of heaven was given for every last one of them. They are somebody as far as God's concerned. That's right. I want to read you something in closing. I do not personally know Tim Sheets, but he is a prophetic voice that I am aware of, but I do not personally know him. And I wasn't looking for this. It just showed up on my computer one day. And here's an interesting thing. Got a picture of an American flag and some words here, and here's what it says. We decree that every hidden and evil plot against our nation will be exposed and brought down in the name of Jesus. We declare your light, Lord, will shine on the darkness and everything will be revealed. Hell's strongholds are shaken. Scattered and shattered, demons will tremble. God's heirs will not tremble. We declare we will rise in your might and in your strength, Lord, and in your power will be seen among us. We will display a hope and a confidence to the world that dem demonstrates who you are and draws people to seek your face. Let the weight of your glory cover us. That's pretty powerful. Uh -huh. He has a brother named Dutch Sheets that I'm acquainted with. Uh -huh. But not this brother. But now here's, here it is. This is his ministry. And this thing is printed up. And it says, Tim Sheets Ministries, Day 17. Hallelujah. It's been 153 days, 153 years, but we finally come to pay back. That's right. Stand up on your feet. have the words to describe what we feel in our souls today. We do not have the depth of wisdom to understand where you have brought us to fully. Yes. We've got a glimpse of it, Lord. But we want to walk. Yes. We want to walk in it. Not because we're worthy, but because you are worthy, sir, yes, yes. and you have made us the righteousness yes. of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, I pray that nobody in this room will leave here today unchanged yes. and unchallenged. Mm but that we will all be impacted by this truth in such measure that we will never be the same yeah. again. Teach us who we are. Teach us why we're here. Teach us where we are. And teach us where we are going. Father, we lean 
heavy on your spirit today. Yes, and in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, we know that everything's bought and paid for. Yes. And we know the battles are already won. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we know that there will be opposition mm -hmm. and evil warfare. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare the victory yes. is ours. Mm -hmm. Yes, Father. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get thee hence, Satan. Yes. You have no place. Yes. You have no authority. Yes. You have no rights. Yes. You are illegal. Yes. You didn't come through the door. Yes. In the name of Jesus, get out. Stay out. Father, thank you for this new Sunday. Yes, this uh -huh. new door yes. impossibilities yes. coming to pass we trust you we believe you and we anxiously yes. trust you to guide us step by step yes. in Jesus, Jesus, name. Jesus, Jesus name. and everybody said Amen, Amen.